Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Nautil Engineering. And in this video, we are going to see how to run multiple subroutines with Abacus. I get this question a lot from many of you. Sometimes we have to use more than one subroutine for our Abacus job. But at the end, when we create a job, we have provision to provide only one file. So in this video, we will see one example about how to use multiple subroutines. I am going to take help of my two previous videos. In one video, I showed how to use subroutine VUSD FLD user defined field. And in another video, I showed a subroutine VD load. This is to define variable load. Now, let's say if you have to use these both subroutines together, we will see the same example, which I showed in this video. This is a rubber sheet with edge crack in it. I'm not going to show how to build this model from scratch because that I already did in this video. If you're interested, you can check out this video. The link is in the description box. But basically what we are doing here is we are using two subroutines. First is user defined field. If you check this material, double click on this material. Here we have user defined field subroutine. That means we have to attach this VUS FLD file. And then if you go to load in this load, Here I am choosing distribution as user defined. That means we have to attach VD load subroutine as well. Now we have to attach these two subroutines. Then we create a job. Now let's create a job. I will name it as multiple subs. Say continue in this go to general. And now here you have to give that subroutine file. And as you can see, there is option to give only one file. Therefore, what you have to do is you have to attach one dot for file. In my case, it is multiple subroutines dot for say, okay, give this file as a subroutine file. I will open this file and show you what is in this file. Say, okay. And now if we go to that file, this is how that file should look like in this file. First, you can start with any subroutine. In this case, I'm starting with VUSD FLD subroutine. You can just copy paste that entire subroutine over here up to this end. And then you can just leave one line. If you don't leave, that is also fine. And then copy paste the second subroutine, which you want to use. In this case, it is VD load. So if you are running only one subroutine, you have this much in your file. So just copy paste those multiple subroutines, which you want to use in a single file. You can name this file anything. I am naming it as multiple underscore subroutines. Of course, the extension has to be dot for for windows. Every time, whenever Abacus needs one subroutine, it will just come to this file. If it is looking for VD load, it will just ignore the first subroutine and go directly to this one. If it is looking for the first one, it will ignore the VD load. And that's it. That's how you will use multiple subroutines with a single job. I'm not going to run this problem because I'm using two subroutines as example. Although this subroutine will work, this D load subroutine is made for this example. We have to change a lot to make it work with this example, but you got the idea, right? This is how we should run multiple subroutines. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.